The Vasgar, home to the Union of Independent Republic's secret space program. Never been in UIR territory before. You still have it. Vasgar was independent. The UIR had the pleasure of occupying... No, excuse me, liberating this glorious land. Okay, remember how I told you only pissed off nomads lived out here now? Meet Garen Paddock, the most pissed off and nomadic of them all. This is your old UIR contact? Two things I dislike, Baird. The cog and children. You've brought me both. Two things I dislike? Old men and deserts. And yet, here we are. Ha! <laughs> I like this one. Follow me. So, it turns out the UIR space program went way beyond what the COG publicly revealed. Somewhere in this Cosmodrome here, there's a rocket loaded with functional Hammer of Dawn satellites. I think we can get the entire system back online, and start hitting the swarm where they live. If the UIR has satellites during the Pendulum Wars, why didn't you use them? The politicians wanted their armistice. Launching those satellites would have guaranteed another century of war. But still, someone our military tried to launch. It kind of triggered a small civil war, actually. So we know this Cosmodrome's layout. Where are the satellites? Try the rocket hangar. Here. And the wind flares are too severe to fly over that desert. So that's where your skiff comes in. Question. How do we know these satellites are still functioning? Or if they're even compatible with ours? Answer. We don't. And that's where you come in. Unless you're too cowardly, or stupid, or weak. <laughs> Who is that? A friend, believe it or not. But for now, get to know the layout of that place. There's a good chance most of it's buried in sand. Oh, and uh, come and see me before you go. Part where no one's sure this will work. I don't care. We'll make it work. We have to. Maybe it's time you told me exactly what you saw in that machine. It's not what I saw. It's it's what I felt. They have a queen now. They're not gonna stop. Look, I woke her up. So I have to stop her. Yeah, but this isn't all on you. Come on, let's just go see Bear. to go on vacation, huh? Can't imagine. They did, at least before the UIR took this place over.
Ah, good, you're here. Grab this module off the table. Jack's about due for an upgrade. Follow me. So a couple days ago, I sent Paddock a care package. Some DBs and some leeches. Hmm. Intriguing. Potentially disastrous, but intriguing. Thank you. See, the way you described Niles' machine gave me an idea. I call it Hijack. Go ahead. Try it out. Override the hive mind? Uh, no. Jack just floods their brains with voltage. It's crude, doesn't last long, but it works. So much swarm can we use it against? Well, our test subject data is limited, obviously, but. Uh, you know what? Go nuts out there. See what happens. Oh, uh, one more thing. Stop by and see Paddock before you go. He's out front. One more thing, Baird. Once we get this hammer up, I need to know if I can rely on you. Don't worry about that. This time, we're gonna do it right. You know what happened to Lizzie in the convoy. It wasn't your fault. Kind of you to say, but I'm the one who pushed the button. I had a bad feeling about it. I didn't want to do it, but I did. So that's on me. Speaking of... Uh, all that. Have you seen JD around lately? Try my best not to, kid. Come have a look, children. Until a few weeks ago, we were holding out fine against your so-called swarm. Then everything changed. They got smarter. Suddenly, they were wearing armor, and they started making bees. Take one, if you want. So you all have been fighting the swarm alone? Yes, which is why I agreed to let Bear come here. We help you with your rocket launch. You help us take back our land. Speaking of which, our water supply's been cut off. We've been trying to restore it, but your swarms made that difficult, to say the least. Getting the hammer up's our priority, but say we help. What do you need? Our water tower. You'll pass it on the way out. Haven't heard from my people there in a while. Could be nothing, could be something. Check in if you can. All right. And now the big question. Are you children really prepared for this? Because your skiff's ready on the runway, and the desert awaits. What did Baird say? A small civil war? Not likely.
I did some training in the Deadlands back in OCS. Let me know if you want a few desert pointers. You know, only one of us grew up in a city, and it wasn't me. I think I can handle it. Okay. Bear, are we expecting anyone? No, we are not. Well, this can't be good. I don't believe this. I hope you're not here to stop us. Actually... Because you can't. Kate. Maybe you should try listening for once. Kate. I'm listening. Yeah, well, don't bother. I'm done. Okay. Because I'm here to help. If you'll have me. I'm sorry. What? Dad told me about Mount Kadar. What you learned. And, look, I, I know you don't trust me. After everything that happened, what I've done, I, I don't blame you. So what does Jin think about you being here? Jin doesn't know. Really? And let me guess, he's here to pitch in too? Yeah. Turns out, Foz isn't so bad. No, I am actually. You just got used to me. Who the hell are they? Friends. They'll be joining us. Yeah? I don't like them. Shocker. You want these two along? Fine. But I deal with you, not them. You good with that? Like I said, I'm here to help. Baird. Come on then. Let's hop in that raven and find some satellites. No, Raven. The wind flares out there will kill you. So what? We walk there. Hey, man. If you want to walk, feel free. But we got other plans. Oh, it's not that skiff, is it? Okay, man. Before we go, I got a bone to pick. A big one. Sure. Pick away. You lied to me. And then, after you got hurt, you pushed us away. Like, like we didn't even know you. Look, I haven't exactly been myself, though. I know that. So who showed up today? Your friend. All right, I know why we're here. But where are we going? An old rocket hangar, to the east. And just a heads up, the Nomads could use some help, too. Then let's do it. <laughs> Hold up, man. You can't just say, let's do it and make the last few months disappear. No, come on. No, it's okay. Let him get it out. No, 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 see, that's not fair. You're being unreasonable, and I want to stay mad. Then stay mad. Not here to prove anything. Just here to help. As am I. So it appears his decency is rubbing off on me. Delta, Haddock just let me in on something. It's kind of relevant. When the UIR base commander thought he was going to lose to the Rebels, he infected all military computers with some sort of boot sector virus. <laughs> Meaning most of the tech we'll find out here has been bricked for decades. Yeah. Jack should be able to power past any remaining malware and reboot the machines. He just needs access. All right, Baird. Understood. Find an old rocket. How 
Maddox said there's plenty of swarm out here, so stay sharp. Get inside. Now we're talking. Yeah, see how you like this shit. Ah, get over here. That's it. They're done. Good night. Paddock, the swarm tried to stop us, but we're heading into the hangar now. Good. Your rocket should be inside. Let me know when you need translations, because you will. I speak five languages. Okay, got it. Inside, help me. So, where do we go? The place looks huge from the outside. It's got to have a mission control or command center, or whatever the UIR called it. Eh, hey, mission control is accurate enough. And keep going, it's close.
reckon there's even more bodies beneath all this sand. Way to keep it light, Bob. Another door. Help me. This must be the place. Let's get some light in here. on the other side of that glass. Well, the lights work at least. And I'd say we found the rocket hack. Maybe I need new glasses, but I'm not seeing any rock here. Paddock, Baird. The hangar's empty. Well, shit. If the rocket was moved, there's gotta be a record of it. You know what? Hack into an access port. Let's see if Jack can bypass that virus. Hey, Jack. Let's pull some records. Okay, Jack's giving me a window into the mainframe. Whew, that's some nasty malware. Adaptive. Semi-sentient. Don't worry. Jack's got this. Right, buddy? Huh. No virus to stop, Jack. Huh, data's coming in. Pat it. I assume you can read this? Yes, but much of it is encrypted. Okay, the rocket's nose cone is close. Check the assembly chamber on the other side of the hangar. Nose cone? What about the rocket? The hammer satellites are part of the nose cone. Go deal with that, and we'll keep digging on the rocket's location. Wilco, Delta out. All right, let's go find those satellites. Fox, you're back, sorry. Did you have read those files? Nah. I was born in New Ephira. My parents wouldn't even speak that's far as me growing up. They want to say it different. They could have hidden half a city in here. It's massive. Yeah. Don't envy whoever had to build it. Platformy thing this way. It's called a gantry. Is it then? <laughs> Oi! Back here. This thing's our way across. Bring it over.
Finally, something I can do. Come on, you lot. All aboard. Okay, Foss, take us across. With pleasure. One thing, children. I mentioned how the UIR attacked that facility and tried to launch our Hammer of Dawn satellites. Yeah. I led that attack. Did? Why? To destroy the Kong. Yeah, well, makes sense. Uh, these days, I'm somewhat less interested in destroying the Kong. Good to know, Paddock. Okay, let's go. Guys, door to the satellites? Back here. Way to the satellites. Give me a hand. Well, no satellites here. Let's keep looking. Static. I'm curious. How long did your siege against this place last? Three days. We attacked the moment Premier Deshinko sat down with your chairman to discuss the armistice. Hit us with the hammer first. We thought it was only fair to hit back. Okay. I'll take that. Get a move on. Paddock, Baird. Ran into some swarm, but we're back on track. Also, Paddock, the cog that hammered you 50 years ago isn't us. We're not them. Well, if you launch those satellites, you'll be doomed to make the same mistakes. What is this knob even on about? Help 
me with this before Paddock starts talking again. I heard that. 